Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this will be the first video for this 2020 new year. So happy new year. I hope your holidays were wonderful, brightful, and may 2019 have been good, but 2020 be way better. I feel like for me and my surroundings and the people that I surround myself with are positive about the year and really look forward to it. So I really feel I'm gonna have an amazing year. 2020 is my year. Well, 2020 is everybody's year. Anyways, this would be a quick video just because I should be getting ready to go to Disneyland with my niece and my sister. And I have a few minutes before I gotta go. Hence why I haven't really done my hair and I'm still kind of in, you know, lounging clothes. But anyway, that's not why we're here. So I made a purchase recently on Poshmark. It was one of those nights where you just stay up really late on your phone and sometimes the, fall, the phone falls and hits your face. That's kind of what happened. But I just picked it back up and continued to shop. Well, I wasn't shopping, I was just browsing. And in the process of browsing, I found a bag that I had eyed before when it first kind of came out from Alexander Wing. And I just never thought about buying it. I had no idea what it cost. So I googled the price, they were about $1,000. Um, I looked them up on eBay, Poshmark, uh, Fashion File, Shopbob, I think. It was like four or five different uh, websites. And the resale value is not the greatest. Um, so I went ahead and purchased it preload. So she arrived yesterday. I have not opened it. I like to do, if I can, all my unboxing videos real live like literally this is the first time i see it and it's the first time you see me unbox it so here we go here it is i asked if she had the original dust bag she did not no big deal Ada gave me a oh she gave me a dust bag in the real real nice she was a very sweet lady um, and we negotiated and it was awesome <gasps> wow oh my gosh she's so pretty already la 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 I don't know why I did that but I'm excited it is a heavy bag. I hope it translates to the real color on video, but it's like um, orange green with dark gray, kind of. I have an idea what this color is called. And it does have the um, silver um, studs. Sorry, coffee hasn't kicked in, it's in the morning. So I'm kind of slow right now, but. Let me tell you, this was not a bag I wanted to purchase. I didn't have my eye on it or bags that I need to have. But it's just so cute and I've heard such good reviews about it and how it's like this, basically a big hole inside. You can store so much. Um, she did mention that overall it was a very good use condition. If you can kind of see here, uh, some of the leather it's uh, rubbed, but that's gonna happen whether I buy new or pre-loved or in very good condition or it doesn't really matter what kind of bag it is. I'm used to bags just doing that. That wasn't a big deal for me. Um, I did do some research for three days and I read like five articles, images, YouTube videos, whatever I could find to help me identify an authentic Alexander Wayne bag and there is not a whole lot out there, but there is enough for you to understand when you can, for you to understand, I'm sorry, uh, what a fake bag of Alexander Wang would look like versus what you would expect from an Alexander Wang bag. And I'll probably make another video on what I learned about these bags so that I can share with you because nobody wants to get gypped. This is awesome. I, I really like this bag. Wow. I'm never gonna wear it like this, but. Crossbody. Ooh, maybe 
wish you would go to Disneyland with me today. Um, this is easy to take on and off with the D ring. I don't see any like bad damages or things that like oh this is totally used. It smells like leather. really it. It's not like a new leather smell. It's more like um, just leather smell. Doesn't smell bad. Doesn't smell good. It's just leather. And it has the Alexander Wayne tag right here as well on this little side on the side here. The zipper works smoothly. I love the color. I'm so happy I got this color. On the picture she uploaded, this looked kind of like flat, so I was a little concerned of like, oh, it's probably just gonna be like a flat um, pebble, I guess they call this, but it's not. It looks awesome. There's no tears, which I did ask her. She said there's no tears. Um, she said she didn't use it much. It was mainly stored. There is a pocket right here on the side oh there's two pockets which I would have never guessed this until by doing my research I found that this the two whole different pockets you can probably put like a chapstick in here they don't go doesn't go through or in it's just kind of there and I was looking at a different color like a brownish tan color so I sent it to my boyfriend because he likes this bag he would care less about handbags but he thinks this bag is cool and I was like, hey, I know that I originally wanted a black when I first saw it, when I first mentioned it to you a few days ago, but it's between this brownish tan one and this like greenish gray. And can you help me pick? Like, fill over text. Right away, he put a heart on this one. He was like, that's hard. Get that one. So I got it. I got a Poshmark. I've never purchased anything on Poshmark. Okay, that's a lie. I did make a purchase. And it was sent to get authenticated for an MCM uh, tote. And it turned out that it was authentic, but it was not the right size or to the description of the seller. So I ended up writing back saying, well, then I don't want it because I thought it was a different size. I actually wanted a bigger bag, not the smaller bag. So they canceled that. So I guess that doesn't count because I never saw the bag. But this one is actually it's my first actual purchase. Um, and people were commenting and asking and I don't know, people had not bought it. So I decided that I was gonna ask her, she did say price is basically firm. So I don't wanna offend people and everybody, when you're a buyer, I'm a seller on eBay and I sell Poshmark. Things that I no longer want or things that I never wore. And I like to negotiate, but I also don't want to lowball people. So what I did is I asked her if it was okay, I submitted an offer. She said yes, I submitted the offer and um, I, I, what I did is I calculated like on Poshmark you can do 10%, 20%, I think 40%. So I offer what 20% is. So it's like a medium, not too high, not too low. And she accepted the offer. So I was just like, dope, let's get the bag. And I think I ordered it on Sunday. Today's Friday and it arrived yesterday. So it arrived last night, Thursday. Um, I do have three days to approve the bag or say that it's not what I want and return it but this is a keeper um, I don't know maybe I'll look for a different color too because this is a really nice bag if you have one and you want to tell me about it please go ahead and comment below if you don't know about these bags really look into them they are just really nice I mean the texture it's a floppy bag which I love floppy bags it's like a duffel bag and I do have a trip coming up next month, so maybe I'll be using it for that. Um, you know, with the whole carry on weight thing, I want a nice bag that's thin, or not thin, a nice bag that's not heavy so I can stuff it and use my weight for that, um, but still meet the requirements. Anyways, something totally different. But I really appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more unboxings and more on how to clean your bags, how to um, take care of them, 
and if you want me to post about anything else or have any comments or you want to share your experiences with Alexander Wayne Bags, please go ahead and do so. I really look forward to it and I just love my bag. Thanks guys. Bye.